Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Titus and welcome back to another episode of Spin Tires. And today we have a Ford Raptor on the right side and on the left side we have a Chevy 2010 ZR2. Now I'm not too sure what the year is on this Ford Raptor if I'd have to say it's maybe a 2008-2010. So I'm going to go ahead and start up this truck. And there is no attachments we can put onto it besides for tires. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out just a little bit, that way we can see the tires and rims that we can put on. So we have the American Racing ones, which are another set of bead locks. We have the Rockstar Bogger and the Black Rockstar Boggers. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep on the Rockstar Boggers black because I think they look a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and apply the diff locks and the all-wheel drive locks and take off the parking brake. And then we'll go ahead and continue from here. So far this truck has performed so good, I mean we've only drove it maybe about not even a quarter of a mile, but through that little bit of mud, it's performed pretty good. Well, here's where it's going to get a little rough. I'm going to try to take a right into this little creek here and try to go up and over this hill. And I'll follow this the left of this. That way we don't have to take the road over there. Take down some of this brush. like a alfalfa field. But I could be wrong on that. I don't really know what else is planted in rows like this. Maybe potatoes, but I don't think they're really spaced all that far. Let's see if we can get through this whole creek right here. I don't think it's too deep going through here. I'll go ahead and pull off to the right up here. And then I will switch right over to the ZR2. Now this thing we can put on some add-ons, but the only thing I'm going to add is the rockers if it'll let us apply there we go which is just basically like a side sidestep and then we have your top rack and then your supplies that go in the top rack and then your spare tire I actually might add the spare tire that doesn't look too bad let's go ahead and start this thing up take off the parking brake apply our diff locks and all the drive locks on So far this thing is performing just like the Raptor, and again we haven't gone very far, but in the little bit we have gone, it's just, it's basically just kind of like the Raptor. I kind of wish that they made a Dodge Rebel mod, that'd be a pretty cool mod. Actually, the ZR2 is doing a little bit better in the water. Actually, I don't think we went this far in this creek. I think we took a left up here. Just go ahead and climb up this hill. Yeah, because here's that brush we knocked down. I'll take some more out. I 
believe we just went straight from here. Yeah, because there's this field that we went into. Hopefully the farmer won't be too pissed that we're riding in his field. I really like the suspension on this ZR2. I mean, this thing just bobs up and down really nice. That Ford Raptor seems to ride a little rough. This actually going a little bit slower than the Raptor. Let's see if we can fit through this tree in this Raptor. That's a pretty close fit. We should be okay though. Pop onto the road up here. I don't know how farther, the, how much farther this road goes. It's like either go in this little creek or no, we'll just follow the road. We haven't done that yet. Do a little bit of a speed test up here. That back end is kind of drifty. We hit a rock, but I don't think it did too much damage to the body of the truck. Go ahead and take a right up here. Actually, I'm gonna go back this way. This way seems like it's more fun. And I'll bring the Ford Raptor up here. Just in case we get the Zero Two stuck. locks on or maybe this truck is just really that slidey. Go on the left side here. Drop her in a lower gear as well. And I think we should be able to shift to the higher gear. But I don't know if that's working too well. That water's coming all the way up to our wheel wells. I'm just gonna shift it back into the lower gear. It seems to be doing better. It's not spinning as much. I should be able to just to kick it back into automatic. I might take the right track for this one. Actually, I want to park this here for now, just in case the CR2 gets stuck. Now, I don't actually know when this game is... Um, is if you change tires, I don't really know if that affects how the vehicle drives. I should probably actually do a test on that. Looks like this show is going to need to be dropped into the lower gear as well. mode. 
It looks like the Chevy and the Ford Raptor sits about the same. But I think the Ford Raptor has bigger tires. I'm not too sure about that. I think it is really cool, so I have to try on a flat surface because we're kind of on a hill there. The exhaust on the ZR2 kind of looks like a Camaro exhaust with the dual cone out of the back. I mean, all trucks, usually the exhaust comes out the back, but this the way it's kind of that rectangular shape. Try to do a little bit of rack climbing up here as well. It's not too much rock, but... Pass this one, I'll go ahead and park this Chevy. Looks like a good place to park it here. other puddle on this side we did is instantly sunk. I'm gonna try not to follow the Chevy's roots leading up to this rock part. So far, I think this Ford Raptor and the Chevy is almost the same. It drives the same. It acts the same going uphill through mud. I might just do a lap around the field and check out the suspension again. Because I'm pretty sure this Ford Raptor rides a little harder. This sure is hell bouncing pretty bad right now. Almost seems like this mud's just getting deeper too. This looks like our front wheels are going to hit the wheel wells every time it slams down. I don't think it's going to do it now because they're not going fast. Maybe we can have this uh, shift in second gear. But it don't matter anyways, we're at the end of the field. I'm just going to park this off to the right of it and hop in the Chevy. It's kind of hard to tell. I think the Chevy almost has the same suspension as the Ford Raptor. It's 
just kind of thought that it looked like the Chevy rode a little smoother. It's kind of weird how one side of this field is deeper than the other. Looks like the one we just went in. But I think this one's a little more open. I'll park this Chevy up here. I definitely have to say though, this Ford Raptor is a lot faster. Actually, I think I remember this part of the map. I think this is where we took the GMC and the Chevy. I think this is actually pretty tough for both of them. I'm trying to stay out of the mud over here. So I just kind of noticed that um, every time I drive the Ford, I pull over and there's like a big, big mud spot. And I say, I should probably pull over just in case the Chevy gets stuck. That's only because in my other videos, usually I at least get a truck stuck once. So I'm not trying to pick sides saying that Ford's better than Chevy. Go and turn on my lights as well. Check these out. Looks like your regular lights with the light bar down in the grill. Kind of do a suspension test on all these rocks. Seems like the Chevy had a better steering around that corner. I don't think we're going faster than the Chevy. I think we're probably going the same speed. I'm gonna try to keep the speed up. That way we can just try to plow through this mud. We're in fourth gear. I'm ready to see the gears drop like crazy. Yep, fourth to first. I'm gonna drop into lower gear. Actually, I think I may have to go around the side because that's what we did in the Chevy and GMC. This part is pretty damn tough. Actually, I'm just gonna take this path over here across the river. I don't know if this is actual. Actually, this isn't a path. 
We may sink it. So that's a pretty damn tall bank. Oh, the hell with it. We'll give it a shot. We may bottom it out. Or we may get stuck. I'm not too sure. Yeah, it looks like this bank is actually pretty steep. I don't think a lower gear is going to do too much. I'll we'll just have to follow the bank until it gets a little less steep. It's just right up here. Go ahead and pop it back into a, a higher gear. Try to park it. Actually, that's probably not a good spot to park it with the back left tire up in the air. That looks like a good spot. I'm gonna change over to the Chevy. Go around all of this. I wonder if I just give this Chevy full blast. I wonder if it'll make it up that bank right here. We lost all of our speed anyways. Actually, it kind of seems like the Ford Raptor had a better run at that bank. try to make it over to one of these islands, but I may sink a truck trying to do that, so this could be a bad idea. That sun's bright as hell, but it looks like a pretty damn good sunset. Yeah, we are... we just sunk that truck. Seems like every time we start it, we're just putting more damage into it. So I'm gonna go bring this Ford Raptor. Pull it out. That way we don't damage that truck too bad. Hopefully I brought my goggles that way I can see where the hell I'm hooking the strap up to. I'm not too sure. That has to be the bumper right there. I'm not too sure what this middle hook is. That should be good right there. Make sure our all-wheel drive locks are on and our diff locks. sunken truck looks like. That thing should definitely be clean now. Looks like the Ford has the same lights, just doesn't have a light bar. Now, I think that Chevy should be okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and unattach the winch or the tow strap. Hopefully I can make it over here without sinking it. Looks like it's gonna be kind of close. Yeah, the cab's almost underwater. I didn't know this thing was a submarine. Just go ahead and back it in up here. That looks good enough. Go ahead and bring over the Chevy. As far as the motor still works after it's just waterlogged. Turn the lights on in the Chevy as well. I wonder if we're going to sink the cab. Pretty damn close to sinking that. Now if I'd have to choose what truck performed the best, I'd have to say the Ford and the Chevy performed absolutely the same. I mean, these trucks were button heads the whole time. I know that I did have to pull out the Chevy 
but I think that's kind of my own stupidity because I did try to go to an island and we just sunk that truck. I think the Ford Raptor would have had the same problem. But like I said, both of these trucks performed well, whether it's going uphill, going in the mud, through a creek. I mean, these these things just performed phenomenal. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.